Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. Monday and all of the guests today are brought to you by our friends at Passant Motors. Getting to your destination starts with them. At Passant, find the best deals, largest selection, and best financing. Visit BASANTMotors.com. We talked about the Lions in the opening segment, and this is somebody that made a joke that I brought up unsigned in the Delaney's OK Tire and Langley inbox. I don't think that many people left at halftime. Most people were stuck for an entire quarter at concessions. And I don't know if they're k- kidding because I saw a lot of people talking about concession concession lineups and the lineups to get into the building and all that stuff. And I know you had all your beer bought for you, so you didn't have to worry oh, about that. Oh, right? a couple but, bought, yep. Uh, yeah, this, these are the things, man. Like, And this is what I worry about with BC Place, these quirks. Yeah, they got well. to they get smoother with that stuff. You can't have people worrying about that after, and that being part of their night. You can't yeah, have that true. happen. Uh, we're going to talk now with our good pal, color commentator for the BC Lions on CKNW, Julio Caravetta. Julio, thanks for doing this. How are you, sir? I'm good, guys. How are you? Very good. Very good. good. Uh, Julio said Dolly, before... Nice to, nice to finally talk to you, Rick. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> we talked about three weeks ago, Julio. Get your, uh, get, get your facts right. We talked three... I was on a well, walk. No, I, I think, called you. I think called me and yelled at me for three minutes and then you hung up. There's a common theme with you. You just yell at everyone on the phone. He yelled at me yesterday yeah, too, I, Rick. I'm on or my walk, Julio. so I'd like to be vocal. I know. I, I know. It's Your walk is supposed <laughs> to be a time where you're de-stressed, not yell at oh, people. No, no. Anyway, Julio, record-breaking home opener crowd for the Lions on Saturday night. They get the victory over the Stamps. Let's talk about the, the, the concert and the atmosphere and everything before the game. What did you take uh, from the big night at BC Place? Well, I, it was electric. It really was. Um, you know, I got down there probably, I was down there about four hours before game time because I wanted to avoid a lot of the, the stress of getting down there. And, um, you know, I was just, I was lucky because he came out and he kind of warmed up a little bit about an hour before he went on stage. And so, but this, the buzz around the stadium, uh, the buzz leading up to the game, um, you know, I, I thought the performance was, was fantastic. Uh, and, again, I, I, I haven't felt that kind of a buzz and electricity uh, in a, during the, or, you know, leading into a game in a long time. And uh, it was exciting to be there. So what do you think? This is the third concert kickoff now. I, I, it's, it's easily the biggest one they've had. What is this doing I know it also syncs up with the Lions just improving and becoming a better football team. But what do you think these concerts are doing just for the uptick in the interest around the Lions? Yeah. Well, I know I was going to say, Amar Dolman is really setting a standard yeah. for himself, isn't he? Yeah. Um, I can't, and you can't say enough about what he has done for this team since he's taken over. Like, it really, you know, you just I, I just can't say enough, really, right? He, he's, he's excited. He he wants to bring a new a new a demographic to the club. He wants to do all these things, and he's and he's doing it. You know, he's putting his money where his mouth is, and that's the thing that I get so excited about. He's got a vision, and um, you know, he's he's carrying it out. And so now, like everyone's going to be like, okay, what happens next time? What what are you doing next year? Mm-hmm. Right. So um, it all starts there. Um, but you know, I mean, the idea of get is getting younger people to the game and. Sure, I know there's there's always going to be that negativity around a, a game like this. People are going to oh yeah, well you know half the people laughed. Well, half the people didn't leave, and yep. you know a number a, a lot of people stayed. It was a, I thought a very you know it was an entertaining football game. It was tough, hard fought, and uh, went down to the wire. And I think you know you can't write it up any better for the Lions, right? They, they you, you just can't up, you know write up a better scenario about the success of the entire day, uh, the weather worked out, everything worked itself out. And, um, you know, I know how much work goes into those things for the, for the Lions and all their staff, their support staff. And I was really happy for them that they were able to pull it off and, and have the success that they did. Uh, Julio, first game, uh, Lions uh, offensive line got a lot of heat. I think they gave up six sacks in Toronto. Yeah. No sacks in this game. A lot of hurries early. They got to Vernon. They made him scramble in the first quarter. Uh, what did you think of the O-line uh, uh, here on Saturday? Well, you know what, Rick? I, I, uh, you know what? We've been doing this a long time. And when you, when you 
you give a, a position a, a lot of heat, whether it's the old line or the quarterback, and then the following week they deliver, and you have to you have to applaud them, right? You have to give them credit. The the Stampeders came with a ton of pressure and did it throughout the night, and it took the Lions a few series to kind of try to figure out, hey, because that's it caught them off guard, I think. Um, so I I applaud. Um, Tyler Packer and and Chris Schluger or Chris Slugger, excuse me, um, for the job that they did. They tried to take advantage of two young guys who have very little experience on the O line, and they didn't give up a sack. And you're right, they gave up pressures, but you know what? Overall, I thought they did a very very good job. So you know, I, I tip my hat to them. They took a lot of heat during the week. But you got to give them credit when they do a good job, and that's exactly what they did. Hey, uh, Julio, this Canadian receiver, Justin McKinnis, boy, he is off to a great start. Uh, boy, I like this guy a lot. Boy, tall, rangy guy, three years in Saskatchewan. It wasn't working for him, but he's starting to figure it out now. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Rick. Uh, you know who he kind of reminds me of? Who? Ray Alexander. Yeah. Yep. Remember Ray Alexander? Oh, come he's on. Long. Of course I do. Yeah, yeah, long and and great hands. Uh, you know, that that to me, uh, Justin McKinnis to me, really is is such a threat now because I think one his confidence is growing. I think Vernon really trusts him, and they put in they put him in a position offensively where he's going to see a lot of touches. You know, he's almost in that Dominic Rhymes, Keon Hatcher position where a lot of the offense is going through you. And so, what can you say? The kid is making a living over the middle where it's, that's a tough place to go every single snap sometimes, knowing what the potential result can be. But he is fearless going across the middle. Um, and, you know, like you say, he's a big target with great hands. And it's amazing when you see a young player like that really start to come into his own and really develop the confidence. And I think that's a big thing for him. He, he really, like you say, He's been in the league a while, and I think now he, he, he feels, hey, you know what, I deserve to be here. And he's, you know, he's producing at a level right now that the Lions uh, have got to be so happy about because they've got some young guys in that receiving core. Um, but uh, between him and uh, Alexander Hollins, they are really delivering. So Lions 1-1, one and one, Bombers 0-2. Oh That's their next opponent, Julio. I know Brady Oliveira yeah. bit, a bit banged up with a knee injury. Are they still the biggest hurdle? Uh, ahead of the Lions? Well, I, I, I think overall, Ryan, that the, you know, the, the West is going to be you know, a, a very, very tough division. We saw Saskatchewan pull one out yesterday. Edmonton, again, it's, you know, they've, they've had some – they're in their games. They're making some critical mistakes at critical times. That's really costing them. But I, I still believe that you know, Winnipeg is still the standard, right? They, you've got to they're, – they're the champs. They're the – they're the, a team that's had a lot of success over the last three years. You, you've got to go through them. And, you know, the one thing people always say to me now, like they'll say, oh, you know, well, geez, they're, now they're going to Winnipeg and it's oh, they're 0-2. Oh, they're going to be really – yeah, well, yeah, so what? You know what? what? A championship football team and a championship mentality is that you don't care what the other team is doing. You don't care where they are. You don't care whether they're 0-2 oh, or 2-0 oh, or whatever it is. You've got to take care of business yourself. And I think that's the mentality that this team has got to have because the Lions are close. They've been close the last couple of years. They've got to get over a hurdle. I thought that they were much, much better on the line of scrimmage where they needed to be in this game. And they've got to have the mentality that they're going in there and, and, and they've got to win on the road. Uh, I don't care whether it's Winnipeg or Edmonton or Saskatchewan. They've got to take care of their own business. If they play the game that they're capable of playing, they're going to be a tough team to beat regardless of who their opponent is. So you can't lose that mental edge, I don't think, thinking about, oh, they're 0-2 and they're due or they're this and they're that. I don't care. I'm just worrying about my business and I want to take care of what I do. Well, safe travels to Winnipeg, and I know you'll look forward to the next call you get from Dolly Wall on a walk, screaming and yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy them. They're entertaining, I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for doing this, yeah. Julio. Take really care, big it. dog. Take care, big dog. See you, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.